Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have your WWE Elimination Chamber 2021 full show predictions and preview for you guys. Lots of great stuff going on. The Elimination Chamber is one of my favorite shows of the year. I've always loved the Elimination Chamber since I was a kid, since its inception. I got to actually witness the first ever one, and I've seen it grow throughout the years and constantly just get a gallon of water poured upon it since the beginning. It's just trickled down and down. And if you don't get what I mean by that, I mean that it is obviously much safer, not as destructive, not as meaningful as it once was, but that's okay because I still get a kick out of it. I think we are still in for a great show. I think we got two great chamber matches. I'm very excited for it, and we're going to break down everything that I think is going to take place going into WrestleMania coming up in just a couple short weeks. So let's go ahead and dive into Elimination Chamber, guys, breaking down the matchups, letting you guys know what I think about the show, who I expect to win, what I think we're going to get, and giving you all of my thoughts and predictions on this effing show. So that being said, guys, let's dive into Elimination Chamber and find out what the hell is going to take place. Alright guys, so starting things off with the Women's Tag Team Championship matchup between Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair taking on Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, obviously for the Women's Championships. Now, I did not watch Friday Night Smackdown. I need to go back and watch it to get all of the, the last details here, but I did not expect this matchup to take place. It kind of came out of left field for me at least. I don't know, I guess I've been living under a rock or something since the Royal Rumble but uh, yeah, the Royal Rumble winner and the Smackdown Women's Championship champion together going after the women's tag titles. Now, I don't know what necessarily is going to take place here. I guess we're going to get Sasha Banks or Bianca Belair turning on the other and setting up their matchup at Mania, I guess. But I don't think it would make sense for them to win the championships and then take on each other at the pay-per-view. Maybe Bayley gets involved and costs them the matchup or something. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to get a trip. I don't, I don't know what's going on, alright? But I will say that I think that Nia and Shayna are going to retain. I think they're going to take on maybe possibly the winners of the Dusty classic, or maybe we'll get something else going on. However, I think that Nia and Shayna are going to win. As much as it pains me, I don't know how they're going to win, but I think they're going to win. However, they may just put the women's tag titles on them so that they're both champions facing each other at Mania, so you didn't got to put a women's tag team title match on the show. I don't know. We'll find out, but I'm going to go Shayna and Nia simply for the fact that it just doesn't all correlate for me. Now, here's a matchup that I have a lot of excitement for. I'm actually very, very interested to see how this one plays out, guys. Triple Threat United States Champion match. I can't really remember the last time we got a U.S. title match in a triple threat scenario. Maybe Clash of Champions like 2018 with Ziggler, Rude, and Corbin, wasn't it? I think that was the last time we saw a triple threat for the U.S. title. I could be wrong about that. That's just one that sticks out of my mind. And that match was actually a banger. So anyways, Bobby Lashley with MVP taking on Keith Lee and Riddle all on a triple threat for the U.S. title. Very excited again, like I said for this. You got three great styles going here. You got the big freakish athleticism of all three men, really but the size of Lee and his athleticism, the size, speed, and athleticism of Lashley, the strength and the athleticism of Riddle. This is going to be a really fun matchup. I hope that we get some creative sequences, some back and forth. I hope they don't just go out there and say, go for five minutes and fart in a bag. I hope that they actually give them a lot of momentum, a lot of time here, and they let them flush this thing out. But it's kind of hard to tell. I really want to see Lashley drop the championship to either Lee or Riddle because I really want to see what they can do in that capacity. But I don't know if they're going to pull the trigger on it going into Mania, you might have a better story with Bobby Lashley or maybe Riddle or Lee could pick it up and then we get a one-on-one -on -one match at Mania. <sighs> when in doubt, go for the retain. But I feel like we'll just get a rematch at Mania, maybe with more guys, maybe a rematch with a triple threat, depending on how this one plays out. Maybe a lot of guys enjoy this. I don't know right now. Huh. Hmm. I think at the end of the day, I don't know why. I'm going to go Matt Riddle. Just screw it. I want to go. I'm going to go with my fancy booking. I'm going to go with Matt Riddle. I'm just going to put my thoughts and my energy into Matt Riddle and just somehow, some way, I'm going to go Matt Riddle for the dub. Alright guys, getting into the first Elimination Chamber match of our night, we do have the WWE Championship version featuring our champion Drew McIntyre, AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton, Sheamus, and Kofi Kingston. The story being that all of these guys are former champions, you know, trying to give a, you know, just sort of a thought to, you know, the, the audience's mind that anybody could win this matchup. Now, I don't think anybody could win this matchup. I would be okay pretty much with anybody winning this matchup, maybe outside of Sheamus. Even though I like Sheamus, I just, you know, I don't really want him as champion right now. Anyways, a few things that I think 
think are going to take place in this matchup. First of all, The Fiend is going to cost Randy Orton in some capacity. We're going to get Fiend versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania. That is what I think is going to take place. I could be wrong. Randy Orton could win the WWE Championship and then us get Edge versus Orton 3 at WrestleMania as well. But I'm going to go Fiend costing Orton near the end of the matchup. It may be at the end. It may be Randy Orton and Drew or Randy Orton and somebody else. And, you know, The Fiend come in, cost Randy Orton, and then that person wins the championship. So, I think it's going to go one of two ways. It's either going to be Drew McIntyre retaining, which I'd be okay with, or it's going to be AJ Styles as WWE Champion. <sighs> and again, you still have your option of Randy Orton still winning the championship. I just don't see that taking place. I don't think Sheamus, Hardy, or Kofi have a chance. I'd love to see, you know, some crazy wild card scenario where Hardy won or Kofi won or something like that. I just don't see that taking place. At the end of the day, Brad, when you don't necessarily know, you gotta go with your, uh, you, you gotta go retain. So I'm gonna go Drew McIntyre retaining the WWE Championship. I think it's kind of boring, but you know, it's what they want. I like Drew. I think he's fantastic talent and stuff. I just kind of want to see something fresh with the with the championship going into WrestleMania. I really want to see Edge versus AJ Styles, but uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna go Drew McIntyre to retain just to be on the safe side for the, you know, for the numbers game for my winning percentage on the year predictions. Also, I'd like to go ahead and note this if somebody wants to do me a favor. Go back to my WrestleMania predictions from last year and then watch every predictions video from WrestleMania 36 all the way up until this video and tell me what my winning percentage is, how many of those matches did I get correct and what my correct predictors is. You know, like, like 80 out of 100 or you know what I'm saying, 50 out of 85 or whatever the total number is and what my percentage is. I'd love to know that. But I'm going to go Drew McIntyre to retain the WWE title and we'll see what the hell goes from here. I just predict a fiend to cost Randy Orton in this matchup, setting up their matchup. Maybe Alexa Bliss plays a role in this match. I got Drew McIntyre for the win. All right, guys, for our other chamber matchup, we have the winner of this matchup taking on Roman Reigns later in the night for the Universal Championship. I don't know if it's going to be directly after. I don't know if it's going to be the main event. I would I would pretty much guess that Drew McIntyre and them are going to main event, and I probably should have covered that matchup last. But we're covering this one last along with our Universal Championship match because I figured Roman might, you know, he might main event, but then you got the WWE title and Elimination Chamber, which makes more sense to main event. Anyway, shutting the hell up. Jey Uso versus Kevin Owens versus Trey. Crash Corbin versus Sami Zayn versus Cesaro versus Daniel Bryan. Now, there's a lot of things to unpack with this match. The first thing being, Trash Corbin, Jey Uso, and Sami Zayn, I don't think, are even going to have a sliver of hope to win this matchup and take on Roman Reigns. I could be wrong. That's just what I'm thinking in my brain. Now, this is the way I see it going in three different directions. Okay. KO obviously has challenged and lost versus Roman Reigns on a number of occasions leading up to this matchup, so I could see them doing it again just to get him finally out of the picture and leading to something else given his all of the different matchups they've had given the handcuff situation all these different things but on the other hand WWE has been pushing Cesaro pretty damn hard and Daniel Bryan has been floating around the rumors of Reigns versus Bryan all of these different things coming to head however there is one wrench in the plans and that has to be the Monday Night Messiah or the Architect or if you will Seth freaking Rollins has to be chilling around somewhere you guys know that he's pretty much feuding with Cesaro Daniel Daniel Bryan entered himself into that thing, so I think Seth Rollins could be playing a scenario in the Cesaro-Daniel Bryan saga, if you will, regards to the Universal Championship, which could include Seth Rollins getting involved in this matchup, finding his way into the Universal title picture. I fantasy booked it in my fantasy booking video. If you guys want to go check that out, I would really appreciate it, but in that video, I talked about Seth Rollins attacking Cesaro and entering himself into this matchup, possibly winning the chamber over Bryan. He wasn't supposed to be in that scenario in the first place, but he did win the chamber, leading to a match with Roman. Daniel Bryan would cost Seth Rollins, and then we would get Roman versus Seth versus Bryan at WrestleMania, which would be absolutely fantastic, but that's me, you know, trying to be creative and coming up with some cool fantasy stuff that we could see. But I think Rollins versus Bryan could also be on the table for Mania, and Edge could be taking on Roman. So there's a lot of different things going on for this matchup, guys. I'm just, I'm going to go Cesaro winning the Elimination Chamber, possibly Daniel Bryan. It could be one of the two. I'm going to go Cesaro winning the Chamber. After that, he will take on Roman Reigns later in the night. And when they, when they battle later in the night, I think Seth Rollins 
Rollins calls Cesaro and Daniel Bryan gets involved somehow and maybe we get something going on there. Or maybe Daniel Bryan wins the chamber and then he fights Roman later in the night and then Seth Rollins calls Daniel Bryan, setting up Bryan versus Rollins and Roman will get edge there. Ha! Ah, a lot of stuff to unpack, man. Official pick. I think official pick, I'm going to go Daniel Bryan. I, I would love to see Cesaro, but I, I think officially I'm going Daniel Bryan wins, challenges Roman, Seth calls Daniel Bryan, Rollins faces Bryan, Roman faces Edge. That's what I got right there. That, that's what I'm going with. Architect will show up, Messiah, fuck, you, you get the point. That's that's what I'm going with. I think, I think I'm okay with those predictions. I'm going Bryan, and then of course Roman Reigns will beat Bryan because of Rollins, and that is my full Elimination Chamber 2021 predictions. Let's get into our random shout-out, Brad, before we get the hell out of here. So this shout-out is going to go to Youngster Official, who says, WWE sees this video. Also, WWE has Riddle show up next week on Raw with off-brand cereal relating to my video yesterday. If you guys missed that, get, definitely go check that out where we talked about some action figure miniatures, and we had Matt Riddle holding some off-brand cereal. That would be absolutely hilarious if they were to copy that. I swear to God, that would be insane. Wouldn't even put it past him, Brad. But a huge shout out to Youngster Official for that comment. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your predictions for the show down in the comment section below. Are you expecting a good show, bad show, somewhere in between? I just hope that we get a good football game. You guys know how we do. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't be like the unlucky charms and uh, cross the line. Or do. I don't give a shit. I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Cross the line.